The provincial government stepped up today to make an investment in trades training. Camosun College will receive $100,000, which it will use to create a plan to refurbish its existing trades training facilities. The hope is to encourage more people to choose a trades career to address the province's looming skills shortage. Stephanie Sherlock reports. A very special show and tell at Camosun College. Trade students and instructors showing their skills. Right, this is where the rubber hits the road. The provincial government telling its plan to get involved. They've uh, indicated to us that they're making available $100,000 for us to build a business case for a trades rejuvenation and uh, refurbishing project here at Camosun College. A leader in trades training on the island, Camosun regularly graduates students like Tim Carlo. And this is what I'm hoping to do for the rest of my life. I could see myself in this career forever. But the buildings are tired. This is a 40-year-old facility, and things have changed in the last 40 years. A large part of the college's business case will focus on finding innovative ways to renew or rehabilitate existing facilities. One option the college is considering is tearing down this facility, Tillicum Lodge, and replacing it with a brand new building on the existing footprint. New contemporary facilities will enhance training and ready the more than 2,000 other students who study trades at Camosun for the future. We're going to need a lot of uh, uh, people working in the trades, so welders, uh, you know, pipe fitters, uh, boiler makers, sheet metal workers, and uh, we'd love those people to come from British Columbia. The provincial cash is in response to the growing demand for skilled trades in BC. The idea? It is to refresh with uh, trades people because we know so many will be retiring. Camosun's president says they will work quickly. The government has given us a bit of a parameter within which to work, so uh, we're trying to definitely work within those numbers and come back to them and say, here's, what, here's the best investment for that money. So students like Tim have facilities they love as much as their studies. I'm loving it. It's a great program. I love being here. The business case will be complete by the end of June. The college expects to release more details then. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Saanich.